You came out of retirement to drive uh, Devil's Advocate for Jack Darling a few years back. I believe if you weren't 71, you were about to turn 71 or something like that when you came out of uh, to retirement to drive Devil's Advocate for uh, Jack Darling. How did you end up uh, driving Devil's Advocate? Well, I was over there helping Jack train Colts that year, and, and he brought his Colts up in Florida, and, and he said, we got this one filly. He said, she's just a a hell raiser. She don't want to do anything we want to do. She'd run off the track and would want to go a hundred mile an hour. He said, I want you to, to look after her. You jog her every day. You train her, your, your project. So I said, all right. So we, we get started, you know, getting along pretty good and everything. She's doing stuff that I wanted to do anyway for a change. But anyway, uh, when it come down to, to qualifying time, I said to Jack, I said, uh, I said, I don't know who you got lined up to, to go with this filly, but I said, if, if we could tell them just to take her off the gate, you know, race her out of a hole. I said, I, I hate to see what happens if somebody just sends her down the road because she might get really stupid. So if we could just do that, it'd be the world best thing for the filly. And he said, well, you're going to go with her. I said, no, I'm not going with her, Jack. I don't drive anymore. No, he said, you're going with her. I said, no, Jack. He said, I'm telling you, you're going with her. I said, all right. Under one condition, I'll go. He said, what's that? I said, the first time I foul up, I said, we fire me. He said, all right, you got a deal. <laughs> so she, she had a good well, year. Well, so here she you. Made, yeah. Right. So tell me, how much did she make that year? I said, a hundred and some thousand she made. Yeah. She set a track record at Flamborough, and uh, she, she was a fast, fast filly, and, and she got so she was kind of manageable. And then she got a little bit sore and then she started to get a little stupid again, but uh, she was a nice filly, super gated filly. Okay, let's pick up the finish here. As they swing into the stretch, Devil's Advocate still there. Four lengths in front now, way back in second. Las Vegas Sealster, third outside to Sky Angel. Late speed from Majestic Presence and even wider. It's all about Sam. They're in deep stretch here, and it's Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate on top by six, and they won't catch. Devil's Advocate Vintage Waples here. Clicks with Devil's Advocate in 157. Up for second on the outside. Vintage Waples is right. <laughs> and pulling away, and uh, and it, hard to believe that that they, that uh, Jack was having trouble with that horse. Well, she just was, uh, you know, he had a bunch to train there, so he, he didn't have the time to fool with her. Where I had lots of time, I could fool with her, you know. To kind of add to that race there, there'd be a special time in my life uh, when I'm coming off the racetrack after that Philly winning. There was about uh, 10, 15 drivers at Mohawk there up on the balcony where they sit out there. And I got a standing ovation, which I'll never forget. I, it just floored me, really. <laughs> well, you know that that's amazing. Hey, what? What? I mean, I, I, you, 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 I, how does that rank in terms of uh, you know uh, stuff that happened to you on the racetrack? Well, it brought a tear to my eye. I can tell you that much. <laughs> it was uh, just uh, yeah. an unbelievable feeling. I mean, that was something I wasn't expecting, and. Uh, I didn't know what to do. I was floored. <laughs> well, I can't. I, what, a, what an amazing capper for an, a, a, an amazing career. Uh, you know, to be to be coming out of retirement because Jack said you had to just for the one, <laughs> one yeah. for this one, Billy. Anyway, and, and then uh, you know, and racing, you know, and, and winning a big race like that to boot, and then having the guys giving you the standing ovation coming off the track i mean to me it's like uh that, that that's isn't that is that like a, not a storybook finish well it was for me i'll tell you that i just uh i'll never forget that moment it was just unbelievable 